Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. If you ever noticed me when I built all my bunkers, there's it's all structural steel on the outside. And I'm gonna show you today how one little machine has changed my life and saved me a ton of money. But I would not be able to live without this machine because it does all the coping that allows me to fit channels to channels and channels I beams by doing things like that right there, a coat. So today, let's take a look at this machine, the Piranha 65 ton iron worker. If that little sucker breaks down, it shuts down my entire shop. And I'm telling you, we couldn't live without it. So guys, when we uh, when we make our bunkers, this is part of a floor. This is actually a big I beam, and, and you figure out how do they make the channels fit to the. Oh, pull it back out a second. Show everybody how it works. They got to cope it. They got to cope it like this to make it fit. So go, slide it on in there now. All right. So he'll put it in there. He'll square it up. Then he'll square up the other side. That's all they do. But then it leaves a weep hole for drain. But they can weld it on the sides. And that's how we uh, make our channels, fit the channels or fit the obbies depending on what we're doing. So this one machine alone, God knows how much money it saves me in both blades and time. So what this is, this is the prompt. 65 ton iron worker and we got this about a year ago and it does several things the thing he's doing right now he's coping it this is how we fit a channel to an i-beam it cuts off a little leg there turns it flat it cuts a little tip off of it and he'll do the other side What he just did there, what, 30 seconds takes, I don't know, we'll, we'll try it. We'll take one to go do it over on the uh, on the saw, but you'll see how that part right there paid for this iron worker in a year. I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how long it takes them. So this is what they've created on the iron worker. So this piece of channel's been cut and then coped and then not. So go ahead and cut it here first and then do this with the blade. Let's see how much time we save. All right, go ahead and cut it there. So this will be the cutting time. about 30 seconds to cut through it. All right, now we've got to create this. Now he's going to show you how he notches it or how they used to notch it before we had the piranha iron worker. He's going to cut it down. All right, so that's got the coop in it. And then they'd have to grind this little tip off. So as you can tell, it's just it's safe with the iron worker, it's quick with the iron worker, and it's also very clean with the iron worker, although the blade's very quick too. But that's the difference between the saw and the iron worker. 
All right, so one of the things this thing will do, it has channels here because we use so much channel. Take a piece of channel and stick it in there. You can actually just stick the channel in there and you can trim it down. All right, go ahead. Pull it back out. Yeah, you see it wax it right off. And on the other side here, it just whacked that little piece off right there. Go ahead and stick it in again. Okay, all righty. Yeah, all right, go ahead and tear it down. So as you can tell, it's a very nice shear. And we can shear it off in literally a couple seconds versus going through a blade and the cost of the blade and the time of a blade. So this is also a way you can whack off little pieces. So that's the second thing that this iron does. It will shear channel, it will shear angle iron. This is the coper as y'all have seen. The other thing it will do, it will shear plate. So this is gonna shear flat bar up to 12 inches. Okay, so this is flat bar. That's about some six inch flat bar. It'll stick it through there. There you go, whack it. All right, whack it again. Whack as many as fast as you can. Whack it hard. Keep on coming. Come on. There you go. All right, bring a piece of that flat bar over here. All right, put it in the coper. Act like you're gonna cope out a notch in it. Okay, you can notch, you can actually notch out a, a little corner. If you gotta cope it, go ahead. So if you wanna put a little notch in it like that, you can do it. Of course, this thing has a punch on it. We don't have the punch in, but that will punch holes through steel up to one inch thick. So you gotta line it up with the die. So then you tighten it down. Alright. Alright, go ahead and punch the hole in that little plate. Do a few more. Beats the hell out of drilling them and it beats the hell out of uh, trying to cut them with a torch. Okay? So that's it. That's the Piranha 65 ton iron worker. This thing literally, it's a year old today, or actually this week, and I tell you what, it has paid for itself several times over, and we're actually gonna buy us a second one now, because this one paid for itself in no time. The time it takes us to bandsaw, torch, cut, and everything, this thing is it's just a miracle worker. So there's no welding shop to go without having a parent iron worker. Now they have different sizes, um, I don't know all the sizes, but I can tell you what, this 65 is perfect for me. And the main tool that we use, of course, is the coping.
So you just notched all those. Now, how long did it take you to notch all those? Uh, I did the first, say, 20, like 30, right before lunch, maybe 30 minutes. So you do about one a minute? I mean, one every 30 seconds? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, compared to doing it with the bandsaw. Yeah, that takes Yeah, so this Piranha 65-ton iron worker is paid for itself. I mean, it's a year old, and uh, we couldn't live without it because we were doing all that with the bandsaw until we had that iron worker right there. So guys, I hope you enjoy seeing one of the prime pieces of equipment that we use here at Atlas Survival Shelters. And as I said in the video, seriously, when that machine goes down, and it doesn't go down very often, we are shut down. But I will say this about that company, Prawn Iron Workers, okay? We've had a couple shafts break, and they replaced the shafts immediately. That's the little dry pin when it came down. Something wasn't lined on our part, but they replaced it at no cost, so they stand behind the warranty. Guys, I'll put a link below to Piranha Iron Workers. They actually have a link on my sponsors page as well now. Um, also, if you mention Atlas, you say Atlas 100, and you call and you buy one, they'll give you $100 off any iron worker, any piece of equipment you want, on top of any deals that they make you. So it's a last second you can pick up 100 bucks, And also... Don't forget, put a number below between one and a thousand, and you'll win one of my wall hangers on the wall. And as I said earlier in another video, I have about 120 more coming in because I'm out of them. I'm done giving them all away to people that walk in here and visit me. So guys, hey, listen, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm one of those channels that has been like shadow banned from YouTube. They do not recommend my videos because I believe in God's not gods. I don't believe in gods. I believe in one God, okay? I believe in God guns. That's what I meant to say. Guns and country. And yes, that is a tracking point. And yes, we will be covering that and shooting that sucker very soon. That's going to be fun. So guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Please share my videos. I need you guys. I need the help. We got to stick together, guys, at these times. But anyway, hey, you know I love you. I'll see you on the next video.